Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kentrus. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can rotoscope in Clip Studio Paint. So, one of the new features in Clip Studio Paint is that you can import video. And at first, I didn't realize you could do this, but if you import the video, you can actually use it for animation and you know trace over and get like the motion of the characters and things like that. So it's easier to do, you know, some complex animation, things like that. So, you know, this is a quick animation I did using rotoscoping. So if you know, it's a quick fight scene and it's actually from the matrix. And the way I did it is not like how you usually see like rotoscoping, like for example, if you go like on YouTube or something like that, you see a lot of people doing rotoscoping and they trace, you know, they would trace everything like, you know, the wrinkle in the clothing and, you know, everything like that. And I think that's the wrong way to do it. Like that just looks like you trace over the video. Uh, I think the better way to do it is just to do like that, like just uh, sketch, like, you know, really lose uh, the body, like the position and forget about like the clothing and everything like that. So almost like stick figures kind of thing, um, you know, and you just have the pretty much the under sketch. And then that means later on you could draw any character in this body, right? You just, you know, you draw the hair how you want it, you know, you could give it like anime style or whatever. And it's not really gonna look like, like these guys. Uh, so let's get into how you do it. It's actually super simple. So let's say you have a new document. Um, I just go here, file import and movie. It's pretty simple, you know, now that you have the video imported, uh, it appears here in the timeline and let's say I put it under because I want to draw on top of it. So, you know, you can make it lighter or you make it blue or whatever. I'm just going to make it a little lighter. Um, I like to lock it so I don't accidentally like move it or something like that. So let's say, so let's say I want to start like copying the animation, right? So I go to the folder and you know, I start drawing over it. I mean, I, I don't do this too much, but uh, I just like to copy like the main things, like, you know, what the face is, what the eyes, just like the super basic idea. And then, you know, really rough because you don't want to copy everything. You just want to have an idea of the movement of the character, right? So, you know, you just have a quick idea and then, and then after you like, draw what the body is, or you have a good idea, you know, forget the video and then now you draw on top of this. And, you know, if you have something like this, you can draw any character, any kind of, any style you want. You don't have to trace the, the person in the video or video game, you could import anything. So if you think, let's say, you wanna do a cool fight scene or something like that, uh, you know, you could just take a little bit from the movie, like, you know, somebody dashing in like this, then like use another part from a vi uh, video game or like another movie, and you could get like uh, uh, some cool fight scenes. And, you know, mix it up with your own animation too, like not, not just copying it. So I think this is really good uh, to kind of throw in with your regular animation, just kind of copy some of them and then you're going to get something really original. So you see there, that's frame one and then, you know, I skip a little bit. So, okay, he moved over there. So and then I click here, new animation cell, click it and then it creates a new layer. And yeah. So now you draw here, uh, he moved, you know, he moved his arm and you know, just do it like that. Like you're doing a sketch, it's pretty, you know, 
simple shapes and so yeah it's pretty simple um just kind of trace over and i recommend doing it like this like not tracing everything not tracing like the clothing um you know just trace the movement of the characters uh, i think that's the best way and then you know after you have this tracing like the the video you can create a new folder on top and then you know you can just instead of tracing the video now you're tracing the the sketch so let's say i go here i create a new one and i could go and start sketching like oh maybe this guy has some crazy hair so i'm gonna start drawing my character right maybe this guy has like some armor You know, you you already did the well probably the hardest part, which is the the movement of the characters. Uh, and I think it's really good because you learn as you go. Like you learn, for example, you know, oh, I should kind of blur, you know, do kind of like a blur drawing so to show speed, or you know. And you learn to space the frames better, so you get like the better, you know, better sense that it's, you know, it's moving or something like that. So it's pretty simple to set up. Uh, and it's up to you how you want to use it, right? Do you, if you want to just trace the whole thing or, you know, do like something like this or something different, right? Like yeah, you can kind of choose how you're going to use this technique and you know, it's not like a, a replacement for your regular animation, like, you know, coming up with your own animation and things like that. Uh, but I think it's really good to like mix it in and for some complex stuff, you know, makes it easier. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope this was helpful. Um, so that's it. See you next time. Bye.